So, what is the difference in reading AM and FM when you are reading uh, sub gigahertz signals using the flipper? Here you can see that in the config we can adjust the modulation for AM650 or AM or FM238, FM476 and so on. And what is the difference in ASK and PSK when reading RFID tags or cards? Well, these terms are called modulation. And if you got a couple of minutes to spend, you might actually learn something new today. How cool is that? Thanks to the Flipper Zero. So first of all, a radio signal is a radio wave that we can visualize such as a sinus curve, such as this. And this is used in between a card and a card reader, or a key fob to your car or door, or basically from any, any radio transmitter to a radio playing songs. So as a constant signal, uh, without changing anything, um, it doesn't contain any more information than just the wave itself. So in order to convey any data, a signal needs to change. And you can do this in, the, in several ways. The most basic is to turn the signal on or off. Or you could have long or shorter signals, such as Morse code. But this means that if you want to understand the signal inside, you need to know the way the signal is constructed. And this is what we call modulation. So first of all, let's have a look at uh, some other words we need to know. We need to know about the amplitude, which is the height of the wave of the signal. And we need to learn about the period, which is the time in between the wave tops. So the way we can use uh, this for changing the signal could be either to increase or decrease the frequency. So this is a high frequency signal and this is a lower frequency signal. Or we can change the amplitude to say that this is a weaker signal and we can increase the amplitude by strengthening the signal and saying that this is a stronger signal. The first way of modulating a signal to convey the data is called AM or amplitude modulation. And when you are sending signals in such a way, we call this for amplitude shift keying or ASK. And this is what we see on the flipper uh, when we are reading, for example, sub gigahertz signals. So let's say we want to send the signal 0100. That means that the first signal will be a weak one representing a zero. We can have the next part with a higher amplitude. So we are just having the same frequency, but we are increasing the amplitude. This is a one. The next part is a weaker again, zero, and the same for the last. So this means that this will be zero, one, zero, zero. The next way of changing a signal could be to increase or decrease the frequency and this is called frequency modulation and this is what you have seen from fm radio and when we are sending data within this it's called frequency shift keying or fsk so by sending a data such as 0100 the first part is a lower frequency and the second part is a higher so this means that this is a zero the next is a one and the next is a lower frequency again, a new zero, and the same with the last part, which is also a zero. The third way of modulation is called phase modulation or phase shift keying. And this is done by sending a signal such as this representing a zero. And then we are changing the phase. So we are not going up, but we are going down again. That means that we are changing from zero to one. And then again, we have a new signal, which is a new zero. So we are again changing the phase here, not continuing down, but we are going up again. So this is a zero. And the next is the same number, a new zero. So we're just continuing in the same phase. So phase modulation means that we are changing the phase, but we are having a constant frequency and a constant amplitude. And finally, we need to talk about bandwidth. 
because we can increase or decrease the bandwidth and to send more or less signals within the same time. And we can see this in the Flipper Zero by in the menu when we are selecting a signal for the Tesla charging hatch. Here you will see AM270 or AM650, but what does it mean? Well, the first means that you have amplitude modulation as we saw, but the bandwidth is 270 kilohertz. And the next one has a bandwidth with 650 kilohertz. And what is the difference? Well, first of all, we see here from this signal, as we saw, 0, 1, 0, 0 is a low bandwidth signal. We can take exactly the same signal, but we are sending it by just half of the time. So we can actually duplicate this signal and send it again or sending more data. Of course, it could be some something else, but in within the same time, we are sending more data. So we are having a higher bandwidth. So this will be a higher bandwidth just as, as the 650 compared to the 270. So this means that the change in modulation will affect how much bandwidth we are using and how much data you are sending. So if you are modulating faster by making the individual period here take less time, we can increase the data rate and we are using more bandwidth. So this means that when you are reading a signal, you will have to select the correct frequency, but also know about the modulation because you can select frequency modulation or amplitude modulation as we just saw, and also the different bandwidth between 270 or 650. And amplitude modulation, as we know from old fashioned AM radios, are often used in key fobs and so on. Uh, FM frequency modulation in, of course, radios as we know, um, but also in, in by, by sending data as well. But the most used in the electronics and computer world would be phase modulation, which is widely used in wireless networks or RFID or in Bluetooth. So I hope this was a bit useful. At least you should know that uh, the difference between ASK or PSK or FM or AM. So uh, good luck with catching uh, radio signals and trying to encode and understand what's going on.